like to thank you all for coming to the virtually awful Concord de Limones today. And we have a very special class. It is our chronic Dick Teague syndrome class for the most AMC, AMC. I mean, uh, how do you get past that? Uh, the AMC cars just kind of exude this certain je ne sais quoi. And we are here to celebrate that and to help us pick those uh, the winner in that class is our chief judge, Tim Sutter from Classic Motorsports Magazine. Tim, how are you doing today? I, I'm doing well. I had that syndrome once, but penicillin cured it. You get a shot, it clears it right up. Uh, or you can put it on Craigslist and sell it and get rid of it. There you go. Even and you. also with us uh, to judge is Lindsay Harrell, the grand poobah of the um, Hilton Head Concours. Lindsay, uh, why have you lowered your standards to participate <laughs> in this? Well, I can tell you it's my first year as the, uh, the Grand Poobah, but um, Carolyn, who was our president before, had the best time with you all last year out at Monterey. So I didn't want to pass it up, even in a virtual setting. Well, we'd love to have you out when we can do, uh, do um, in-person car, car events again. I would love to have you judge there. And another person we'd love to have judge come out and, uh, and check out the awfulness that is a Concorde de Limones <laughs> is uh, Mark Vargas from the uh, Chief Operating Officer at the Revs Institute. How are you, sir? Uh, I was fine until just now. <laughs> <laughs> That is the usual reaction to participating in a uh, virtually awful Concorde de Limones. Well, and without further ado, let's take a look at w our contestants in the chronic Dick Teague syndrome class. And right off the top, oh, wow. we have this 1979 Damn. Pacer wagon on Kragers with raised whites. That is spectacular. I like the wagons better than the, the uh, coupes with the well, I guess they all have the, the, the odd size doors on the other side, right? Yes, they do. They do. The wagons have the advantage of a, f a few extra inches of body and a lot more weight. But still the underpowered six-cylinder inline engine, right? Still has the same six-cylinder inline engine um, and just a ton of body weight. They are not fast cars because they are rather heavy, but they are stout. But it, apparently it looks pretty good with Kragers and raised white letters. I, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> I feel silly because I really like this car. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else want to take it to the track? I just want to put it in my garage. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> and it's got the typical, why, did, why was every car in the 70s different bad tones of brown, gray, I mean, a little dull time. Well, speaking of bad tones of brown and gray, our next contestant <laughs> is an AMC Eagle. Oh that has been home painted in camo. <laughs> uh, that was a fact, that's a factory paint job. That was an option. This is, I think this is the opening of deer season special. So, yeah. and of course, why wouldn't you put a, an eagle on it? And look at the interior, just resplendent. Oh, wow. Who thinks somebody's gonna steal, steal that? Steal it, that's what I was just thinking. If anything, they've left it in drive, it's gonna roll down a hill. That is uh, wishful thinking, I think. <laughs> that's a work of beauty, I must say. It, it really is special, is. one of and a it, kind. And it has hood pins on it. I mean, this might be a high performance vehicle. Okay, next up, we have a, a Jeep pickup truck. I believe this was a 1983 in its natural habitat next to a grain silo. Comanche. Yes. Uh, quite the robust pickup trucks <laughs> and, uh, and seeing it next to a grain silo brings to mind uh, the, the word that pops, pops into your head when you drive it is agricultural. So next up we have a, uh, a Grand Cherokee that was pulled from a field by this family as a father and son project. They got it in this state pretty much which it definitely looks like it was uh, pulled from a field and after quite a bit of work and probably too much invested in it they actually spruced it up kind of nice the jeep wagoneer is actually like my dream mom car yeah my husband won't won't get into the idea but i'd love to have that okay so next on the docket is a car that has won worst of show at a Concorde de Limones before. 
This is the uh, Gremlin Excalibur. It is a neoclassic based on a Gremlin. If you put two bad cars together, does it make a good car? No. <laughs> I don't, I've never seen anything like this one before, I have to say. Yeah, that's the general reaction when anybody sees this. Yeah. Is it is spectacularly the bad beauty. from every angle. The thing is, is it took a lot of work. I mean, good or bad, it took a lot of, I mean, that's, that's not a 10 minute build. No, this took some effort and some dedication. So next on the, on the docket comes from our uh, Detroit show. This is an absolutely pristine uh, Concorde wagon that is uh, driven by a young gentleman with great enthusiasm and a lot of love. He puts a lot of care and thought into this car and uh, has been a, a regular attendee at the Concorde de la Mons that we do at the uh, Concorde of America in Detroit. It's, uh, it's super cool. I, I, I don't get the wire wheels and the... Uh the wood grain for a, a pseudo off-road vehicle. Well, it was the those upmarket were four, version. Yeah, those were four-wheel drive, weren't they? Yeah. Almost certainly they were four-wheel drive. Yes, that was the yeah. that was the selling point, was uh, you could take it anywhere. And actually, they're not bad off-road. No. Um, I had a friend that, that uh, I have a friend that, that had one. It was a five-speed, very rare. They had a five-speed manual. It was pretty damn cool. Yeah, not bad cars. Well... Bad cars, but you know. <laughs> never, never heard you say that before. Yeah, in context. Well, Lindsay, you were you were hoping for a uh, a wagoneer as ah. a uh, as a as a mom vehicle. Can you imagine being picked up at your wedding in a wagoneer? I love <laughs> the guy in the driving it behind them. <laughs> He's sort of photo bombing their wedding picture there. Yes, yeah. indeed. That's when you know you've married a winner when he picks you up in that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this just exudes class yes. uh, all the way. Yeah, well, I, I would say it makes for a strong marriage. If, uh, if you're willing to get married under these circumstances, what can't your marriage survive? I mean, yeah. at that point. So there are our contestants for the uh, chronic Dick Teague syndrome category. Is there one that floats to the top in your mind that is the most uh, AMC -y of the AMCs? I'm gonna say the most memorable is the Gremlin Excalibur. It it's is, only it half AMC. Stands out. Hmm? <laughs> it's only half AMC <laughs> and half something worse. It does indeed stand out in all the wrong ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, does one... Uh, it, well, the, the Gremlin Excalibur certainly wins the category for most work involved. Uh, not necessarily best, but most work uh, in terms of preservation of a you know an actual vehicle. Oh, you know, that that uh, Pacer wagon, mm -hmm. you know, sure was pretty close. Yeah, I think that's cool too. Yeah, yeah the, too. the Pacer wagon is pretty cool. I'm 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 hearing kind of a consensus there. Is that uh, is that where we're going? I mean, does do do Kragers and Wide Whites belong on a Pacer wagon? Does that make it cool, or does yeah, it make it cooler? Didn't didn't the the one in uh, the movie had had Kragers on it, didn't it? Well, nice. I'm kind of prejudiced. I did indeed have a pacer that I put Kragers and Wide Whites on, so I'm going to recuse myself from this discussion, <laughs> and I'll I'll make sure that we see it. We see a pacer, a picture of that pacer is actually a very cool car. I uh, put it was white with a tan interior, and I put uh, gold rockers on it and side pipes and Hearst badges on it, and told everybody it was a Hearst edition pacer, and they <laughs> believed me. So. So you're going to recuse yourself uh, reasons of insanity? Yes, indeed. So uh, I have to leave this one up to y'all. It's uh, I, I'm hearing it's kind of between the uh, between the Gremlin Excalibur and the Pacer Wagon. I well, I must say that that camo uh, Hornet was pretty cool too. <laughs> that was uh, that's pretty. I don't know if that's so t atypically uh, AMC. Is that uh, is that you know? the the start of deer season special <laughs> well it's so wisconsin that is of true. course is amc yeah straight out of kenosha yeah, yeah. that is uh, yeah all they need to put on there is a is a deer a freshly shot deer and they didn't want it <laughs> don't tempt this guy i'm sure he'll do it. yeah i'm sure that's <laughs> happened yes <laughs> having lived in wisconsin for 10 years yes you see that all the time <laughs> 
Okay, so tough choice. Is it between the, the Pacer Wagon, the Gremlin uh, Neo Classic, or uh, as, as Mark has pointed out, the, uh, the Eagle? I, I would go with the Pacer Wagon. I think that's, that screams AMC. I mean, it's what AMC is famous for, probably. Uh, that's, I mean, that's what I know best of AMC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't go wrong with it. I think it's a defensible choice. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if you were uh, pinned to the wall by the, by the judging committee and the, the owners at a Concours and you said, but just look at it. I mean, it's, it's so <laughs> AMC and look at the wheels and tires. I don't think anybody would argue with you. So I think we have our winner of the Chronic Dick Teague Syndrome Award for the virtually awful Concord A. Limones is the AMC Pacer Wagon. Big he would be so them. proud. Yes. So uh, for, for that, our sponsors have kicked in. Uh, the owner of that vehicle gets a $300 gift card from eBay. They also get wow. a, a prize uh, pack from Griot's Garage of car care products to keep that car nice and shiny. Um, we'd like to thank all the sponsors involved for being dumb enough to be part of this uh, Haggerty, Classic Motorsports Magazine, eBay Motors, Griot's Garage, and we'd like to thank Lindsay and Mark for being dumb enough and wasting their time to be part of this concour. Uh, we'd love to see you at our actual physical concours when we resume those uh, sometime soon, we hope. <laughs> and uh, we'll definitely need to make it out to the, uh, to the Hilton Head Concour. Lindsay, I look forward to, uh, to attending. That is quite the event. Yeah, we look that. forward to getting back on the schedule again, too, in 2021. You might see that pacer there next year. Yeah. yeah it might, draw, might I'll sneak put it in a good out word. the green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for participating. Thanks, thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, we will, it was a uh, wonderful, awful time. Yeah. <laughs> outstanding. We'll move on to the next class now. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yep. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.